Well, this is a great start to the video. It's absolutely pouring down outside. I just really wanted to go through the wiring of the van and the first stage really of what, what I purchase. Let's start off with the switchboard. This is a typical switchboard. It's already uh, fused at the back. Um, it's got one positive coming in and one negative coming in. And this is the location where I'm actually going to fit it. It fits lovely inside there. Um, I've done it before, obviously, with my other van builds. So I'm going to explain what I'm going to do. Apologies, as you can hear, the rain's absolutely checking it down. The first three switches will be for the lights. So what I generally do, I buy a pack of these which are LED lights, cut off the wire, rewire it in, and it's in a, like a daisy chain. They will all run back down through the rib area here, through the bodywork, and then into here, where is where you'll have your switches. Now the fourth switch will be for your water pump, which will run along here and through, and then will come out over here. So just to confirm, one, two, three switches for your lights, fourth switch will be for your water pump and then the fifth switch will actually be for this unit itself for the USB and for the cigar lighter and the voltage what I will do like I said I'll do it in a, a later video is that the positive and negative which you only get one of each which powers the whole of this unit I don't actually like that too much um, amps going into it so what I will do is that I will rewire it and um, so then when you switch it on you can then switch this on here and then you will have the voltage light coming on and your usb and uh cigar lighter and then you can switch it off again so it's not on all the time so you're not wasting your battery power on the fuse box you can get smaller ones than this um but i've used this one before so you end up generally staying with what you know so that's your fuses there there's your kill switch um You've got some um, cable ties and you will also have the little sticky um, plugs I use just basically to keep the cables in place um, rather than slip them down with tape. So they, they've got a backing on, you take them off, you've seen them before and then you can tie your cables to it with a cable tie. And they go along the ribs as well. Um, positive, positive and negative, um, heavy hitting for the battery and for your kill switch. Like I said, they're the spots, and then these are the LED lights which go around the footwell. Okay, so firstly, you're going to clean all the ribs uh, with a vinegar-based uh, cleaner. Make sure everything is clean on the ribs themselves. Let's try and quickly run through what I've actually done. Um, you'll see here, we've got a positive and a positive and a negative and a negative that will be for the switches um, so one positive and one negative that will be for the main switches for the light switches and then the other two will be for the positive and negative both of these run back into the um, fuse box um, so that will run the USB and uh, the, the light switches and the water pump the other three cables you'll find here are for the three sets of lights, as I discussed with you earlier on. They run up through the bodywork. Um, if you can see there, uh, they've been cable tied and uh, pulled into the bodywork so they're not moving about. They go up through the bodywork. Um, you're probably not going to be able to see, but in here there is actually a routing where you can go out and then back over now make sure that you actually put um a cover over that metal because it's sharp and you don't want to be cut cutting any of your um cables and that comes back through to here and then it goes along for your first set of cables which run along there's a daisy chain for your first set of lights I hope that makes sense. So that's a two-way cable, positive and a negative, or a switch and a, um, an earth. So it goes down through the bodywork, cable tied in so it's not moving about, 
and then it comes out through here. Okay, so that's for your three lights. So you've got one there. If I carry on going up, you can see the next set going along. Now that cable, and I've not put it in yet, that will be for the switches down here. That's the cable which is going to run over to the switches for your footwell light as well as your uh, bench lights as well. Uh, I've also over here, you'll see there's a, uh, an eight bolt, an eight mil bolt. I've uh, ripped down the paintwork and so therefore that's going to be your earth cable which is going to go on there and I'm going to bolt that in. So make sure you take the paint off to make sure that you get really good earth. Uh, as I said, I've used this, uh, which is part of the window trim, uh, which was the leftovers, um, and that will secure that there, and therefore it won't be rubbing against any metal or any sharp metal. So that's your um, earth cable, and then you've got your positives and negatives, which are for your switch and the USB switches and light switches, and then you also have your positive, um, which is running all the way straight to, all the way through the bodywork, along and over here, which will be your 16 amp, which will be for the TV. And then you also have a water pump cable, which goes all the way along, two core cable, goes up through into the bodywork, as you can see, and then that comes out here. Uh, there's your two core cable and that will be for your water pump um, so one will go to the switch and the other one will go to the earth and again here I've rubbed down that will be an earthing um, and then you'll put a bus bar here and then that will all be sorted out as well that's the cables I hope that's uh, <laughs> that sort of explains everything um, so to show you it runs along I put some taping on there to stop any of the cables moving uh, but by the time I put the insulation in and then re-tape up again anyway, they're not going anywhere. They're not going to be moving on any vibration or anything like that, so they won't split or cut on metalwork. So again, the daisy chain for your spotlights. Um, and again, three lots going along to the back there. Um, and again, they're, they're going to be wired in. So you have the back two lights spots coming on with one switch, your next set of lights coming on with the next switch, and again your next set of lights coming on with your third switch. So that's your three switches on, on the actual panel which uh, I showed you earlier which will go in here um, and I hope that makes sense. But uh, all I now need to do is do another heavy hitting uh, power, uh, plus and negative which needs to run along and along here and come out here uh, or rather a positive, a positive cable a heavy hitting one and that will be for the fridge so I've run out of cable so I need to go and get some more cable um, yeah so that is your electrics pretty much done